Could you both introduce yourselves? I'm James Woodward. And I'm Ellie Groninger. James's hey. mother. There you go. This is wonderful. <laughs> What kinds of art do you do? A sculpture, uh, a lot of metal, uh, branching out into wood, uh, plaster, stone, the fun stuff. I'm also in sculpture. The Palmer Museum of Art chose me as their Artist of the Year. I also write and illustrate um, metal origami, uh, fantasy, whimsical kind of things. The first day of class at Carnegie Mellon, Professor Olds, the drawing professor, came in and said, if you think you're going to make any money at this and make a living, you should change majors. Um, comfort has absolutely nothing to do with this lifestyle whatsoever. And there's almost a comfort in the uncertainty, too, because, oh, okay, something really cool is going to happen. It's been very helpful being raised by an artist because you're exposed to that at such a young age and you're able to talk about art so much easier. When I was 11, I got into the, um, I had a piece in the hub. That's actually right over there. there. Yeah. Um, it is more about basic form than anything and uh, not very much concept related. And right now I feel like I'm, I'm much more of a concept artist than anything. I uh, usually um, make up a couple of designs um, what I do in sculptures past and I come back here and um, I see these same designs in her sculptures like the the tree over there that entire <laughs> tree body is um, my original design that, that she took from me and you'll, you'll see it uh, in a lot of pieces like that I have women come up and say oh I want to be a sculptor I want to do what you're doing and I want to look at them and say, are you willing to sit outside of the food bank and consider going in to get food when you can't sell what you're doing? If, if you, you know, do you have a lifeline? I do like the chair that I recently created. There's been a lot of uh, talk about it. It's about um, entrapment. I call it the hammock for the uptight. During college is when I, I really got into the meat of sculpture. I was doing so much superficial work before then. Uh, this is my studio. It's quite lovely. A little corner where I get to do all my uh, works. Right now I'm currently staining wood. Got a bunch of magazines as well. Art magazines. That's what we artists look at. Um, I'm going to go to uh, graduate school for my MFA in sculpture, uh, most likely at MICA, where um, on my girlfriend is currently. After that, I want to move across seas because I haven't really been outside of the United States, and I just want to uh, figure out what it's like, get new experiences. Are you done? I don't know. Am I? Uh, interrupt me if you're not. My father always said, choose a career that will afford your hobby. And when you turn what some people think is a hobby into your career, it's, it's a whole different life path and can be very, very difficult. It creates a study when you see a beautiful sculpture instead of a, a painting that has been seen a lot before. And in today's world, we're always staring at the television, the computer, things that are flat, magazines, uh, our phones. And when it comes to sculpture, it's something you can walk around, something you experience, something that's affected by different times of day. Anyone can call themselves an artist easily, but whether it's good art or bad art is what makes the difference. After hearing my son speak, I'd say um, he's probably my my uh, art hero. <laughs> really has it together. Um, sharing his vision and watching him grow from the time I first gave him a blowtorch when he was seven. Yeah, Jim's gonna be famous. <laughs>